Michael Shamus, who joins us from the Nine Newsroom. Michael, we did see... Surprise fries. Trady B. Ah. Nicorette Quick Mist. Available every day at Chemist Warehouse. And Harvey Norman. Super Easter sale on now. The search is on for Australia's best food ideas. Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars. Tuesday, 7.30 on 9 at 9 now. All right, Tohu Harris joining us there. Uh, for the Warriors, up next for them, they face off with the Rabbitohs. That is next Saturday. <laughs> Tonight, from church services to egg hunts, northern New South Wales celebrates Easter Sunday. Holiday tragedy, the body of a 17-year-old boy is pulled from the water near the Queensland border. Northern New South Wales is growing. Find out which suburbs have topped the list. Aussie boxer Tim Zhu beaten in a bloody and brave battle in Vegas. And they dug deep, but it wasn't enough. The Knights handed a 20-12 loss across the ditch. This is NBN News with Lauren Kemp. Good evening. From the cities to the suburbs, church faithfuls have turned out in their thousands to attend Easter Sunday services. And at a time when the world is enduring conflict and tragedy, the message from our church leaders was clear. There is still hope. Resonant and welcoming, the bells at St Andrews drew to church an overflowing congregation of the faithful eager to hear the Easter message. But this Easter...
Minister, growing conflict, sorrow and tragedy couldn't be ignored from Ukraine to the Middle East. We weep with Israelis and with Palestinians who grieve the loss of family members and the destruction of their homes and communities through war. And in ever more fragile times, Christians draw solace from the Easter message. There's so much sin and sorrow in the world, a world of war and famine and violence. Um, uh, is there a hope in such a world? And we say the resurrection of Jesus means he's Lord of life, he'll hold evil to account, and he'll remake the world anew. <laughs> At St Mary's Cathedral, a similar crowd of the faithful and a similar message at a time of war, climate change and financial challenges. To all of us, especially anyone anxious at this time, Christ's resurrection says, the suffering ends. At the St Andrews Ukrainian Church in Lidcombe, it's a message that resonates for more than most faces revealing the heartbreak of families trapped in a war on the other side of the world. That wait bringing special prayers. Every Ukrainian here is praying for peace. Russia's bombing of Ukraine is relentless, however. Putin doesn't care about religious or religion or religious holidays. Every morning we wake up and we see that all of Ukraine is being bombed. Cronulla for the congregation at the St. Aloysius Catholic Church, a celebration of the essence of Easter Sunday. And today is a great day of joy and celebration. And at the Uniting Church in Ashfield, on Easter Sunday, the Reverend Bill Cruz feeds the souls of his congregation. The message of Easter is all about lovingness and compassion and reaching out to one another. We can always come together. There's more that unites us than divides us. And on this day, as every day, he does much more. He feeds not just the hungry and the needy, but all who come. But it's very nice. Eddie Meyer, NBN News. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has released his Easter message. Here's some of what he had to say. Happy Easter, Australia. Easter is a time of hope and renewal. For Christians here and across the world, it's a moment to reflect on the resurrection. Celebrations and services across the country remind us of the importance of forgiveness, grace and kindness to those in need. They say the early riser gets the egg, and so it proved this morning as the traditional Easter egg hunt played out at homes across the country. While the rest of the world was sleeping, across Australia a team of early risers found the trail was fresh. What? They left eggs? Do you think it was the Easter Bunny? Yeah. From our city's north. Show Mummy! Happy Easter! And down to the south. Whoa! The signs were real. It says Happy Easter, hun. And our collectors were quick. Look. Oh, look! Look at this for! Look how many there are! The trail wide, we had backyards covered right across the west. Well done! <gasps> Baskets are spilling over, but our bunny eared stand ends unsure. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, step your feet. Happy Easter! Holiday confusion amid reports multiple bunnies were spotted on the south coast, <laughs> but between the mouthfuls, while our kids are finding the real deal hard to pin down. A reminder. But Easter's probably also about spending a lot of time with family. This is the sweetest Sunday. Happy first Easter, little man. We're alongside our traditions. Happy Easter, everybody. It's all about just kicking back. Big morning. Easter magic. Before the crash, Ruth Wynn Williams, NBN News. A man wanted on a number of outstanding traffic and stealing offences has been arrested on the far north coast today. Officers located the 27-year-old driver after following a car that had been reported stolen from a home in Ballina. The man was charged with a number of serious offences, including take and drive conveyance without consent of owner. He was refused bail at Lismore Court today and will reappear on April 4. 
A PFLATER that has lost his licence for six months after being detected driving 146 kilometres an hour on the Pacific Highway at Tyndall. The 17-year-old driver was also fined $2,616, while the registration and number plates of the Ford Focus sedan he was driving were both seized. The driver told police he'd already been pulled over earlier that day for driving 20 kilometres over the posted speed limit. Volunteer surf lifesavers will soon be packing up patrols and wrapping up their season on the far north coast. But authorities are still urging beachgoers to heed safety warnings and stay safe through the winter months. Summer has been and gone, but visitors to Ballina's ever popular Shelley Beach showed no signs of slowing down. The beach is a beautiful temperature of water at the moment. As it approaches Easter, we kind of get into that winter movement where we get some like bigger swells and it's just nice. It's a good time of year. Dangerous rips have remained a constant threat across the far north coast, with more than 3,000 rescues performed statewide across summer. While local patrols have remained vigilant across the long weekend, the red and yellow flags are set to come down in a few weeks' time, with volunteer surf lifesavers wrapping up their season. We have obviously lifeguards on all, all the beaches from 9 till 5. We do have uh, call-out services and we also have uh, jet skis and IRBs in case of emergency. And with the risk of drowning more than four times higher on public holidays, it's a timely reminder that alcohol and swimming do not mix. Excess of drinking or t taking drugs, uh, just stay out of the water. Even if you're sober as an arm, the uh, ocean will get you at the best of times. Since September, there's been 11 coastal drownings on far north coast beaches, with lifeguards today urging the public to swim only at patrolled beaches between the flags. If you're unsure, go and ask the lifeguards or patrolling members. They have a good understanding of the uh, beaches. It's always best to be safe and um, to take the uh, word of the uh, surf lifesavers because they will help you. Alexandra Rees, NBN News. A new volunteer service has been launched to help Lismore-based businesses who are still working to recover from the 2022 floods. The joint project brings together a team of pastoral carers who will be available to listen and provide support to workers. It follows a similar service which was implemented after the 2017 floods. From Glenray to Lyon in France, a 19-year-old apprentice baker is making a name for himself on the world stage. Lestat Hammond from Glenray Bakery has been selected to represent Australia in World Skills 2024. Glen Ray Bakery owner Brooke Stephen and her third year apprentice Lestat Hammond preparing loaves of sourdough. It's plain Jane, it's good, crushed good, inside's good, it's like, mm, perfect. The 19 year old started working for Brooke when she took over the bakery almost three years ago. He walked in on the first week with a very nervous with his uh, resume, which to me was, I was grateful because I was like, oh my God, I'm on my own, I need some help. And he's basically been with, by my side since then. The Glen Ray local excelling as an apprentice after making it to World Skills Nationals in Melbourne last year. I've never been on a plane, been on a train, everything like that. But no, it's terrifying. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just grab onto my teammates, like, we're going up. He's now been selected to represent Australia and will be heading to France in September. He competed against the rest of the world, so you have to make sure, especially Australia, I mean, we're getting there with things, but against Germany, you know, France, all these countries, you know, bread's bread and pastries, they've been around a long time. Honestly, I'm over the moon excited, but also in parts terrified as well, because... It's a really big thing, not only just travelling internationally, but representing my country as well. And the bakery is fast becoming a foodie destination, with regular staples like bread and pies. I have steak and pepper, spinach and feta, cheese and bacon, vodka, and chili. I'll describe it all the curry. But also fancy treats like pistachio and fig eclairs and hazelnut financiers. It's a little hidden gem here, so I think um, standing out from the crowd, it's like nobody would expect like a little tiny small town like this to have a, a bustling kind of bakery, um, and we make everything by hand. Are you living your dream? At the moment, I currently am. From the moment I started till current present, it is living the dream. Alison Paul, NBN News. 
Taking a look at the weather across the region today, there are a few clouds overhead, topping out at 27 degrees in Lismore, 26 at Cape Byron and 27 the top there at Coolangatta. You're watching NBN News. Still ahead, Easter tragedy, the body of a 17-year-old boy pulled from the water near the Queensland border. The terrifying moment a shopkeeper is held at gunpoint in Tweed Heads. A charred yacht salvaged from Port Stephens five days after catching a light and sinking. Northern New South Wales is growing. Which suburbs have topped the list? And rescuers dig through rock and dirt to save cavers near the Blue Mountains. When your hotel room is your bedroom and your living room and your dining room, maybe you need more than a hotel room. Get an Airbnb and get more space. Ancient and future Pokemon join the battle in the Pokemon trading card game Scarlet and Violet Temporal Forces. Available now. Each booster pack of 10 cards sold separately. Cards vary by pack. $5 million in payment. The only thing you won't get is a fancy welcome gift. Because we spend all our money making our life insurance great. So, because you signed up to Life Protect, you can pick anything off this table. Would you like this? No, thanks. A uh, cheese knife? Kia. Movement that inspires. The Murray-Darling Rivers pump life through our nation, to our farms, communities and environment. But water's being overused and the next drought is only a matter of time. Find out how the Australian Government's plan will restore the Murray-Darling Rivers. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Sunboost is continuing to hold prices down on leading home solar systems and batteries. The huge 6.6 kilowatt premium system held to an unbeatable 4191. Here with a home battery with up to $1,000 off till March 31 only. Call 1300 Sunboost. We can see more of the world than ever. With Bridgestone Tech Check, you see what needs repairing now and what can wait, so you can go with confidence. Bridgestone Select Tire and Auto. A Kind of Harsh, the magic of Karen Carpenter. Playing Albury, Sydney, Wollongong, Canberra and Newcastle this April. Rainy days and Mondays are... Tickets on sale now at melonevents.com. Welcome to St. John's College Woodlawn. Our students enjoy vibrant learning spaces set across 30 hectares, offering unrivaled sporting and cultural facilities and an outstanding performing arts centre. Grow and learn in a faith community where everyone feels included and supported. Join us for our 2024 Open Night, Wednesday, April 3rd. St. John's College Woodlawn. Register online. A grim discovery for emergency services on the far north coast with the body of a boy pulled from the water at Hastings Point, south of Kingscliff yesterday. It's understood the 17-year-old had jumped off a bridge on Tweed Coast Road and failed to... resurface. He was found just after four o'clock and sadly couldn't be saved. A harrowing shift for this worker at a far north coast service station last night. CCTV capturing the moment he was threatened by a man with a firearm. Police were called to Hastings Point store around 10.30, finding the culprit had fled the scene with cash. They're now appealing for the public's help to find the man who's described as being of Caucasian appearance, aged in his 30s and around 180 centimetres tall. Anyone with information is urged not to approach the man and to contact contact police. An incredible salvage operation has taken place in Port Stephens, six days after a 20-metre yacht caught fire and sunk. A specialist crew was brought in to refloat the vessel, but just how the fire started remains unclear. Burnt from the inside out. 
the charred remains of an almost $1 million Princess motor yacht has been salvaged after it caught fire and sank in Nelson Bay last week. It was around 7.30pm on Monday, March 25th, when the boat docked at the D'Albora Marina caught a light, sending smoke billowing into the air. Neighbouring boats were moved and 11 fire crews battled the blaze all night. By Tuesday morning, it was almost entirely beneath the surface. The salvage crew have done an amazing job there to um, uh, contain the, the pollutants. There was a lot of diesel and oil, um, as well as all the burnt um, debris. Um, they've collected all of that and they've managed to refloat the boat. A specialist salvage crew worked overnight using lift bags and pumps to refloat the vessel. The motor yacht will be removed from the water and sent to the tip, leaving the owners with little but memories. They're disappointed. Uh, I think um, uh, the owner sort of compared it to losing a family member. Had a lot of good times on that boat. The cause of the blaze is still under investigation. Tony Abrogetti, NBN News. Police are looking for 12-year-old Lily Renyard, last seen at a school in Glendale near Newcastle around 9 o'clock on Thursday morning. Lily is described as being of Caucasian appearance with a slim build, long brown hair, blue eyes and a nose piercing. Anyone with information on her whereabouts is urged to contact police. From Tamworth to Port Macquarie, a growing number of Sydney ciders are making a tree change. Now the Bureau of Statistics has revealed just which of our suburbs are proving most popular. Tony Ambrogetti has the details. Northern New South Wales is a popular place to live and these 18 urban areas have been ranked in the top 99 largest cities and towns in Australia. Newcastle and Maitland placed seventh, one step ahead of the nation's capital. In the last decade, it's grown by 14%, which means an extra 63,900 people now call the Hunter home. Coffs Harbour and Port Macquarie ranked 25th and 30th respectively, with 12 and 17% growth in the last 10 years. Inland, Tamworth isn't far behind, coming in as the 34th largest city with 11% growth over the decade. But in the last 10 years, it's the Morissette and Kurunbong area that's grown more than any other place in New South Wales. Almost 30,000 people now call that part of West Lake Macquarie home a whopping 27% more than in 2013. Australia has one of the largest take-ups of rooftop solar in the world, but new research shows a majority of those who oppose it do so because of the price. Tonight, a solution is being pitched to power what could see more solar in our suburbs. Pulling into their home, Denise and Peter Rohlberg know their new car may look flash. The Australian grid will be much cheaper for consumers because they will be producing much more of their energy themselves with rooftop solar and then storing their batteries. To me, it's the best two-in-one deal you can get. It's good for your household and it's also good for the planet. Charles Croucher, NBN News. An Australian is among three United Nations... Controlling Lebanon's southern border with Israel. The force says the targeting of peacekeepers is unacceptable, as Lebanon blames Israel and says it was intentional. The military observers and an interpreter were unarmed and on foot, patrolling near the Lebanese border town of Ramesh when they were injured by a nearby explosion. Unifil, the United Nations peacekeeping force, says one of those wounded was an Australian. The workers were evacuated for medical treatment. They were injured, luckily they are stable at the moment. The Department of Defence confirmed to Nine News that an Australian Defence Force member... ...the agency rescue. The extrication itself was extremely difficult. It took quite some time to access the patients. SES police and cave rescue teams racing the clock. Probably the biggest concern in that situation is, is hypothermia eventually using a drill to free them. But just enough to be able to uh, get him to, to be able to slide out. Tim and Alice walking out without a scratch. Around five this morning, 
Tim assessed by paramedics as a precaution before they were both reunited with their fellow explorers, a lucky but tight escape that comes with the territory. Bye. Aaron Ramsey, NBN News. Coming up next, detectives in a Facebook deep dive as they probe accused killer mushroom cook Erin Patterson. Nightclub terror in the Netherlands, the bomb claims that shut down a town and its trains. Brothers and sisters in wine, we meet the loyal staff behind one of the Hunter Valley's longest running vineyards. And from commercial exhibits to psychics, it's day 10 of the Royal Easter Show. It's a place for the offloaders, back rowers, those who feed the scrum, you know, boys. the ones who go for a strip, or a chip, and chase, there's the commentators, That's a big hit. those who score under the post, and some even on it with statues, and at full time, thoughts on the Maccas? Oh, I thought it went very good, I was going to get some soft serves. you always go home happy. in the darkly funny Stan original series, Population 11. Looking for my father, Hugo. Don't you guys. A hilarious crime mystery from the director of Hacks and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. In a town this tiny, everyone's a suspect. Keep a close eye on everyone. Ah! Great, now I have to log that. The brand new Stan original series, Population 11. Now streaming only on Stan. Refresh and restyle hair effortlessly with the number one dry shampoo, Batiste Dry Shampoo, 684 inch from Chemist Warehouse. Shake, spray, massage and brush to add volume, texture and fragrance. Live, look, feel fabulous at Chemist Warehouse. Morning, Carmen. Carmen, how's our gorgeous granola coming along? Carmen here added extra joy. <laughs> Maybe dial it back a little. There's care and then there's the Carmen's kind of care. Water and electricity don't mix. And they know exactly where this EV is going to wind up. It's a Vision Outlander plug-in hybrid EV. Australia ready. That went well. Freedom's mid-season sale is on now. Get up to 50% off selected outdoor furniture and up to 40% off selected furniture. Plus, for a limited time, get 50 months interest-free store-wide. Conditions apply. Sale on now. Only at Freedom. Deliver more with the world's number one forklift brand. Get Toyota's legendary reliability. Get world-leading safety. Get more uptime and more value for your business. Don't just get a forklift. Give your business the Toyota forklift advantage. Jesus is our only hope in these troublous times. A free Bible is yours by simply contacting jesus one for you at bigpond.com. You're watching NBN News. These are our top local stories. CCTV has captured the terrifying moment a shop attendant was held at gunpoint at a far north coast service station last night. A 20 metre yacht has been salvaged by a specialist crew six days after it caught fire and sank at Port Stephens. A new report from the Royal Flying Doctor Service has revealed people in the bush are more likely to die younger. The organisation pleading for more funding to bridge major health gaps. The state's bush fire danger period will officially end at midnight. The RFS warning residents still need to remain vigilant. And a 19-year-old apprentice baker from the Clarence Valley is headed to France to represent Australia in World Skills 2024. Accused triple mushroom murderer Erin Patterson created multiple social media profiles under different names in Facebook groups. Investigators are now looking into her online presence, including opening and closing several accounts as they prepare for a court appearance in May. The Victorian woman is facing three counts of murder and five of attempted murder.
A man who took four people hostage and threatened to set off a bomb inside a nightclub in the Netherlands has been arrested. Specialist police working for hours to secure the safe release of all four staff members. A town centre closed off, heavily armed police outside a nightclub had a robot sent in after reports a man had claimed he would blow the place up. Well, there's uh, a hostage, uh, hostage uh, situation here. Specialist police swarmed the town of Ada, southeast of Amsterdam, after the armed man walked into Cafe Petticoat at 5am as staff were closing up. 150 homes were evacuated and trains told not to stop in the town. After a few hours, three staff members who'd been held hostage were allowed to leave. The fourth was freed shortly afterwards. The hostages are, uh, are free, are very uh, emotional. They are with the family. Seven hours after the siege began, the suspect, wearing a balaclava, walked out with his hands in the air, then ordered by police to strip off his outer clothing before they handcuffed him. Authorities say he's a Dutch citizen known by police and the judicial system. No, we have uh, not a, an idea of motive, but it's not that we know for sure. It's not a terroristic motive. It's not. They say the man threatened hostages with knives. No explosives were found. Brett McLeod, NBN News. A warning from Surf Lifesavers after five swimmers were rescued from the northern end of Fingal Beach near the Spit around 6 o'clock last night. Four members of the group managed to get themselves out of a rip while a fifth, a 42-year-old man, was rescued by members of the public. He was taken to John Hunter Hospital after swallowing a large amount of water. Surf Lifesavers say it's a reminder to only swim at patrolled locations. Meanwhile, marine rescue volunteers were called to Redhead Point south of Newcastle around 8.30 last night. There they found the crew of a 12-metre sloop had been stranded for three hours after their sails stopped working. They were safely escorted into Newcastle Harbour shortly before 1am. The prompt response, all thanks to the distressed boaties logging their trip. In a time when Australians stay in a job for three years and four months on average, finding a workplace with multiple long-term members can be rare. But at Tyrrells in the Hunter Valley, it seems like fine wine age is valued. Nestled in the foothills of the Broken Back Range, Tyrrells was founded in 1858. The first Shiraz and Semion vines planted soon after on 320 acres of prime Hunter Valley land. It's one of Australia's most enduring family-run businesses, but they say the family is actually much bigger. My wife and I often laugh about it, that we've got you know, a family of about 70. It's a feeling echoed by long-standing staff, among them Tyrrells senior winemaker, Vintage 1980. It's a fairly slick machine now and that all comes with you know, multiple years of experience and um, um, I've really enjoyed the ride. It's been great. Andrew Spinnerzy, or Spinner, started as a seller hand at age 23. Over 43 years, he's worked under three generations of Tyrrells. Every vintage is different. It's not like just simple brewing. It's uh, good years, bad years, difficult years, not so difficult years, you know. And um, I guess one of the benefits of staying so long, you see those really lovely vintages from years past. Then there's Darren Larson, or Daz, the seller foreman. He started in 1983. 40 years in November. And he's still motivated and dedicated. The trust bottled and preserved. Family-owned company. Um, they've got this family values, so it, it sort of transfers a cost in, into our lives. Um, if anything is wrong with us, Bruce and the family will always look after us. And just like solid wine, it seems the staff get better with time. I'm a newbie here. I've been here 23 years and I'm a, a newbie, yes. Over 166 years, the Tyrrells family has been embracing its roots. And just like the original Ironbark Slab Hut, which still stands on the property today, it honours its history and its long-standing staff. We listen to them, because if you don't, you're silly. Um, because so many of the good ideas and good things we do come from the people who work for us. Jane Goldsmith, NBN News. She was born in northwestern Sydney, but tonight Edie the Cheetah is living in the African wilderness. The big cat from the Wildcat Conservation Centre in Wilberforce has been slowly and carefully introduced to life in the wild. Her rehoming is an Australian first and it's hoped she leads the way for many more cheetahs into the future. While many chose to spend the day worshipping or around the table with family and friends, 
others spent the day at the Royal Easter Show. And today it wasn't just about those attending, but those who have given up their long weekend to show off something special. Easter Sunday at the Easter Show. The Easter egg hunt well underway. The hunt given the award for the best commercial exhibit at the show. I'm fifth generation show person. It means that we've been exhibiting here at the Easter Show for 120 years. The commercial exhibit's an important part of the show run. About 400 commercial exhibitors selling everything from, you know, the general knickknacks to, you know, medal winning pasta. The very, very delicious stand has been at the show since the Moor Park days. A lot of customers come back year after year. I'm a surprised. From strawberries to almond butter to hoses, toasty makers and fairy tins, all spruiking furiously. They're interacting with around 900,000 people over 12 days. The psychic reading room was back. Angel, how's it been going? Fantastic. Well, you knew that. Of course. There was a shop for selfless selfies. It's really rare in Australia, actually. I'm probably from Korea, to be honest, yeah. And you could scoop up some Nordic yeah. drinking horns. You can the it looks very Spartan. It's uh, the Corinthian Royal Guard, but it's all steel handmade. And one of the smallest and more obscure exhibitors was self-published Gary Davis's tome on corrupt banking practices in the 80s. Well, they're not queuing up, but they're very happy to... Um... Yeah, okay, I can guess, mate. But Gary said given his debut show response, he'll do it again. That's the, um, I suppose, the punchline for what I've done, yeah. Oh, mate, you are an author. Huh? I you need to install those. Yeah. Giving their products a chance to grow and to glow at the Royal Easter Show. Okay. Mike Dalton, NBN News. Sport now with Jack Howard and Jack. The Knights were unable to avenge last year's semi-final. Lauren Newcastle gave the Warriors a scare, but it wasn't enough to get the Easter Day chockies. After the break, New Zealand's campaign back on track, while the Knights slumped to 15th on the ladder. Also ahead, from high school mates to NRL rivals, Tiger Lachlan Galvin prepares to take on Eels half Blaze Taolungi. And where to now for Tim Zhu after a bloody battle in Las Vegas? At Carper Call, we can help turn your renovation dreams into reality. Transform your home with our hard-wearing hybrid timber flooring, available in a huge range of styles and colours. Your floor can go from this to this. Then enhance your new look with our fashionable rugs and new Australian-made curtains and blinds. When it's time to create your dream space, you know who to call. Call, call, carpet call. The experts in the trade. Harvey Norman's Super Easter Sale on now. High sense 75 inch smart TV just $49.5. Or upgrade to the 85 inch for just $1 more. This HP 15S Core i5 laptop, hot deal just $698. Elise leather corner sofa, amazing value just $1799. Up to 20% off a huge range of state defense carpets. Studio One Oval Freestanding Bath just $499. $1 off size deal. Upgrade to king size unselected Australian made mattresses. Four big brands. Super Easter Sale at Harvey Norman now. No! Sunburnt country. A land of sweeping plains. Of ragged mountain ranges. Of drought and flooding rains. When the lucky country isn't so lucky. Lucky you're with Amy. We'll help. Even if you forgot to lock up, NRMA's Combined Home Building and Contents Insurance offers cover even if you accidentally forgot to lock your windows or doors. now. Get up to a big, big 30% off selected indoor and outdoor furniture. Buy two dining chairs or bar stools and receive the third as a bonus. Save up to 65% off clearance mattresses. Bundle up the King Coil Queen S Prince mattress with an adjustable base for a hot pack. Up 
to 30% off selected bedroom furniture like the Shape Duo range. Amazing value. Plus big, big discounts on clearance bed linen and decorator items. Domain's big, big weekend ends Monday. <laughs> Make it easy. Drop into your local branch or visit summerland.com.au to find out more. Maddie's last night's sleep was spent trying to look up relaxing wave sounds. Tonight's actual wave sounds. A gutsy performance across the ditch wasn't enough for, uh, for Adam O'Brien to get a win in his 100th NRL game in charge. The Knights coach left to ponder where it's all gone wrong after winning just one of the opening four games. Out for revenge in Auckland, the Knights cut open by Sean... Oh, it's the wizardry of the half and there are the opening points. Newcastle's middle leaking... And now Harris to be the lookout! Fighting their way back into the game, a roll of the dice came up trumps for Tyson Gamble. In 20-12, to 12, their campaign back on track, while it's back to the drawing board for Newcastle. It's every young footy player's dream, sharing one of the NRL's biggest days with your high school mate. Except for Lachlan Galvin and Blaze Taolungi, they'll do so on opposite teams. And their coaches are backing the 258s to shine. Brad Arthur bouncing into Easter Sunday training today. He's moved on from the loss of Mitchell Moses. It's just another opportunity for someone else to step up and Blaze gets an opportunity there. Just days after making his debut, there's no doubt the teenager can handle the halves. He typifies what I want this team to be, tough. So that was the first thing when I sat down to decide on who was going to take that spot. I wanted the toughest person um, to take that spot. Talungi will stand opposite Lachlan Galvin. The pair played at Westfield Sports High School together. Now they've both burst into the NRL, two of the surprise selections to start the season. Coming to the preseason, did every session and won every fitness session. But as a person, like he's just a, a well-mannered and well-raised kid. We met his parents a couple of weeks ago, and you can tell why he's the way he is. Coincidentally, the Galvins were Parramatta tragics. Lachlan grew up in blue and gold until he was told to look elsewhere by the club. Tomorrow, he could make them pay. He's got nothing to prove for us. We just need him to do his job. And you don't want him to go out thinking they got a point to prove. You know, like, you get too emotional about it, you can get lost in it. Another blow for the Eels, Bryce Cartwright succumbing to his rib injury. After their big win over the Sharks, the Tigers are taking nothing for granted. On the weekend was the first time we put it together properly for 80 minutes, and that's what we need to do. Otherwise, you can't play an NRL game for 40 minutes and expect to get a result. Sam Jordan, NBN News. In the preseason, former Sea Eagles assistant Shane Flanagan said his old yeah, club can win the premiership. After the Dragons shocked 20 to 12 win over Manly, the Saints coach hopes his team now believes they can too. Well, I was really happy with the, our attitude. I've got a good football team here, but I know it. I just got to convince them. Things don't get any easier for the out of sorts Sea Eagles. After back to back losses, they face the Premier's Penrith at home next Saturday. Australian boxer Tim Zhu has gone down in a bloody battle in his quest for two world titles in Las Vegas. The 29-year-old putting on the performance of a lifetime in a showdown that some say should have been cancelled when Zhu suffered a deep head gash. And a warning, some might find these pictures confronting. The bloodied face of Australia's bravest boxer who put it all on the line in Las Vegas. In favour of the winner, the towering and Credit belongs to the to the man who won tonight. Congratulations to Fondora, he's the he's the new king. For Tim Zhu, this was the ultimate Sin City showdown, and it had Australia showing up. I come to see Timmy Zhu get another K on his record and we get another big gold strap. It's the Zhu takeover, really. It's like a family dynasty. Following in his father Kostya's footsteps, Zhu fighting for a second world title in his Las Vegas debut. But standing in his way, a towering opponent, and the six foot six Sebastian Fundora. And that right hand, popping Fundora's head back like a pencil. 
Zhu came in strong, belting the American in the opening two rounds before an accidental elbow to the head delivered a devastating oh, blow. Oh, wow. oh, once and then twice, doctors allowed Zhu to box on, the 29-year-old bravely battling through the next 10 rounds. And it was like a, it was like a fountain, just like <laughs> fountain of blood coming out. Of but I think it could have been stopped multiple times throughout the course of the fight, but I actually thought it was. A bloodbath going the distance and ending in heartbreak. Tim Zhu losing in a split decision. It was the fight of his life, but tonight it wasn't meant to be. Tim Zhu may have had his Las Vegas hopes dash, but he's already looking forward oh, and vowing man. to bounce back. I want to come back and, and do it again and, and fight the very best out there. I'm going to uh, have a little two-week rest, <laughs> and then I'll get back in the gym. I'm very proud. I'm very proud. Look, he's, he talks about being a warrior. He talks about, um, you know, how hard he wants to push himself. He showed that out there. A fight lost but fought hard. Tim Zhu tonight down but not out. Lauren Tamazi, NBN News. Still to come, another late escape for Ange Postacoglu's Spurs. Tottenham producing a second half comeback to keep their top four dreams alive. And for the first time in five years, an Australian won't be ringing that famous trophy at Bells Beach. Lexus Encore. Where a Sunday drive meets the thrill of the racetrack. A midweek dinner meets a culinary adventure. And a weekend away meets a Lexus of your choice. Lex Lexus Encore. A unique owner benefits program where life meets amazing. Some of us do things the hard way. Boy, watch it. But some of us, we do things the smart way. That's why I supercharge my shop with One Pass. One Pass helps you get more value from your favourite brands, like free delivery, five times the flybys points when you shop in store. <laughs> Plus 365 day returns and loads more to supercharge your shop. All for just $4 a month. Now that's bang for your buck. Start your free trial today. Resort. The time to look after myself and finding myself again and again. This is my time at Palm Lake Resort. Universities matter because of what matters to us, like crops that survive droughts and medical research. For more ways universities benefit us all, visit universitiesmatter.edu.au. From the Spec Stravaganza store wide sale. Get any two pairs store wide for only $1.99. Save up to $200. Limited time only. Here we go! Yeah. 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 Ah, just a little something I threw together. This is really good. Rustica by McCain. Share it like you made it. There's no shame in getting old. If you've been independent your whole life, it's so hard to ask for help. Take the first step and it'll be a lot easier. To be loved and cared for and then to love and to care so deeply, I think that's the essence of being human. The most important thing in life is love and caring for each other in a place like this. Standing up for our right to be lazy. By sitting down. And reclining back. We work full time and parent full time. We the lazy are taking back lazy. By getting comfy on our Lazy Boy furniture. Lazy Boy. Long live the lazy. Take out a home loan or refinance with Summerland Bank and you could get $2,000 cash back. This offer is for a limited time, so be quick. T's and C's apply. Check out summerland.com.au or call 1300 728 728. Ooh, we love it. We love it. 
And Postacoglu Spurs showed plenty of rust in their first game back from the international break, but a late strike from captain Son Hu Min ensured Tottenham walked away with all three points over Luton Town. Tottenham is fifth, but do have a game in hand over fourth placed rivals Aston Villa, who beat Wolves 2 0. The semi finals are set at Bells Beach, but for the first time in five years, an Australian won't be ringing that famous trophy. Defending champion Ethan Ewing was eliminated in an upset result, while local wild card Ellie Harrison's fairy tale run came to an end in the quarterfinals. Still, the teenager was the most popular surfer on the beach, congratulated by her family and friends. And Morgan Siblick's campaign has come to a devastating end. The Merriweather board rider knocked out of the quarterfinals by South African Matthew McGillivray. Despite posting two consistent waves to start, it wasn't enough for the wild card. And the man from Newcastle starts off with a bang. His signature fin throw off the top. Speed float to cover some ground. Siblick missed out on the semis by just .02 and finished fifth overall. Hunter jockey Dylan Gibbons is still riding high after his upset win with Calipor in the Tancred Stakes yesterday. It's the second Group 1 win for the 22-year-old apprentice, but he says it's extra special, not only because it was paying 31 to 1, but because it was his first for his boss, Chris Lees. The Newcastle trainer now has 17 Group 1 wins. Meanwhile, Ballina Jockey Club is gearing up for its third race meeting of the autumn calendar. Organisers say a handsome prize pool is set to attract fierce competition. Gearing up for a big day on the turf. It's a fantastic opportunity for local horses to get out and get some great prize money. Tuesday, April 9, will be the third race meet of the season, featuring a seven-race card. There's no feature race on the day. There's a couple of um, feature country races which have an, they carry extra prize money on the day. The stakes are high, with a total prize pool of $200,000. Fantastic local racing, great for our local horses to get some return on their investment. The race meet attracting some local talents to watch out for. Brett Kavanagh and Stephen Lee are fantastic local trainers here in Ballina. Uh, Matt Dunn's very hard to beat, and anyone that comes down from Queensland is always competitive. And there are prizes for people competing off the track too. Punters encouraged to wear their best and brightest for fashions on the field. There should be some great crowd and um, obviously we always encourage people to dress up. Gates open at 12pm at the Ballon Race Course. The first race out of the gates an hour later. Look, it should be a fantastic day. Andrew Jew, NBN News. The annual Midway Volleyball Competition has wrapped up in Coffs Harbour. Hundreds of players from across New South Wales and Queensland attending the two-day tournament. Ballina 13 and Armadale UNE on 12, neck in neck in the semi-finals. Oh! Armadale fighting hard until the end, but it was the North Coasters who were first to reach 25 points, seeing them through to the finals. Oh! This is our annual Easter tournament. Uh, we've, this tournament's been going well, on and off for about 20 years. With 26 teams competing in the two-day event. Teams everywhere from Brisbane down to sort of Wollongong. This year we've got seven teams from Borkham Hills Volleyball. And the competition has grown with the opening of the new courts at Sports Central. This year, the, the, all those teams have come back, plus, plus we've added some more this year. Now we've got the... Well, potentially seven courts here, potentially seven courts. We're using five, but once we can use the seven courts, we can hopefully expand it even more. With 25 teams in the local comp, new players are always welcome. Thursday nights, we run free trainings for juniors and for beginner players, beginner juniors and seniors. Um, we also have our beach session every Sunday morning, 9 o'clock at Jetty Beach. So anybody's welcome to turn up and, and have a go at volleyball. Alison Paul, NBN News. What a great way to burn off all those Easter eggs, Dan. <laughs> Absolutely, Jack. Thank you so much. Stay with us. We will have all of your local weather details after the break. The experiments most unpredictable. We are not in love. Love twist. Beautiful things in us. Next. With Macca's new surprise prize, you've got a one in four chance of winning. <laughs> with millions of dollars worth of prizes. Plus weekly draws for your chance to win $10,000 cash. Peel your fries for a chance to find a prize. Fetch 
sheds up to 40% cheaper. Farm sheds 11,990. Industrial buildings only 18,600. Our 25% off sale is happening right now. Call their sheds on 1800 15 17 80. Each week, IGA checks and matches the regular prices of the big two on hundreds of essentials. Here's proof. Like Devondale Dairy Soft Butter Blend Tub price matched and Indomie Me Growing Instant Noodles 5-Pack price matched. We checked, we matched, you won't pay more. Buy any pack of Arnott Shakes and you could win an Xbox Series X every day. Plus, there's 30,000 Game Pass prizes to be won instantly. Buy any pack of Arnott Shakes to enter. Anytime's a good time to learn with TAFE New South Wales Short Courses. Whether you're short on time, think it's time for a change, or time for a skills boost, you can change your life in just days or weeks. Search TAFE New South Wales Short Courses. Hey! Water and electricity don't mix. And I know exactly where this EV is going to wind up. It's a Wishy Outlander plug-in hybrid EV. Australia ready. That went well. They say, good things come to those who wait. Turns out, that wait's only 90 seconds. <laughs> Uncle Toby sachets, goodness in every bite, ready in 90 seconds. Did you know almost one in two Australian adults don't get enough sleep? Turn to Nature's Own Complete Sleep Advanced 90s, just $39.99 at Chemist Warehouse. With naturally derived Zisipus, it's traditionally used to relieve restless sleep. Live, look, feel well at Chemist Warehouse. We've only just begun. A kind of hush to the magic of Karen Carpenter. Join Katie Noonan, Melinda Schneider, Abby Dyson and Layla Havana as they recreate the much-loved music of Karen Carpenter. Rainy days and Mondays always get. Playing Albury, Sydney, Wollongong, Canberra and Newcastle this April. A kind of hush, the magic of Karen Carpenter. Tickets on sale now at melonevents.com. Finding your dream home can be a challenge, but organising your finance needn't be. With competitive rates and fast local approvals, Summerland Bank can make it easy. Drop into your local branch or visit summerland.com.au to find out more. It's been a little overcast across the region this Easter, but we only had light rain along the coast last night, and it looks to remain that way to close out the Easter long weekend. It was a foggy start at Salamander Bay at Port Stephens. After a cool night, Tracy Rigby captured this shot before it all cleared later in the day. On the satellite, cloud is building inland as tropical moisture links up with low pressure in the south. Victoria can expect heavy rain and the odd thunderstorm in the next couple of days, putting an end to a somewhat dry month for the south. East corner. A series of cold fronts and troughs are finally pushing their way through and some of this could reach us later in the week. So expect cooler temperatures and maybe even a decent dump of rain, especially along the northern New South Wales coastline to kickstart the second month of the season. Partly cloudy throughout the northern rivers today, getting up to 27 at Evans Head and in Ballina, 26 at Cape Byron and 27 at Coolangatta. Mostly sunny tomorrow with only a small chance of a shower or two along the coast atop of 26 at Byron Bay and 26 as well there at Casino. Taking a look at coastal conditions, we have one metre seas with a one metre swell. Low tide around 20 past eight tomorrow morning, a one metre high rolling in at a quarter to two in the afternoon. Sun to rise at 7am and setting at a quarter to seven. Partly cloudy in the tweed tomorrow, a slight chance of a very light shower or two, but rain will settle in later next week with moderate to even heavy pools possible ahead of the weekend. Even heavier falls forecast for Ballina on Thursday and Friday. We could see some localised flash flooding with mid-20s the top during the day through to this time next week. And very similar seven-day forecast in Lismore. Temperatures dropping as the rain rolls in later on Wednesday, easing on Saturday. In Grafton, high 20s to low 30s through to the middle of the week before a high chance of at least some rain in the forecast. And that's MBN News for this Easter Sunday. Married at First Sight is up next, followed by the late news at 9.40. Enjoy your evening and from all the team, have a very happy Easter. Good night.